Hello and welcome back to my channel, That Geeky Gal, and my name is Gracie. This is day 11 of my 12 days of Harry Potter Christmas ornaments. Uh, today I have this beautiful mermaid stained glass window ornament for your tree. The mermaid window was seen in the Goblet of Fire when Harry needs to find out the secret between for the golden egg. And so he goes into the prefix bathroom and that's where he takes his egg and we see the beautiful mermaid painting. This mermaid window is animated and I loved it. It was so magical. Could you imagine having a window like that? It was so beautiful and so I've always wanted to make this craft and so here it is for today. So grab your stuff and let's get started. Links are always in the description box below. You're gonna need some type of plastic, some white glue, black paint, a toothpick, matte Mod Podge, an X-Acto knife, scissors, the mermaid template that you can print out, a piece of foam board, some wood washi tape, your glue gun and glue stick, some twine, and you're also going to need a couple of markers to go ahead and paint your template with. Alright, let's get started. So this is the template that I'm using. I went ahead and printed this image out and I cut it out. I didn't want to use the whole thing, just a little strip of it, and so I cut it out. So what I'm going to do is this template is going to be taped onto the back of my piece of plastic. This plastic is actually a divider that you use for your binder, and I thought it worked. So you're gonna grab your white glue and some black craft paint, and you're gonna add that black paint into your glue. Go ahead and mix it well, and with a toothpick, you're gonna go ahead and dip it kind of like as if it was ink, and you're gonna go ahead and trace your image. You wanna trace as much of the image that you can, every single line that's on there. Some lines are a little too small and the glue is a little thick, but just do the best you can. And the reason why we're using glue is that it's gonna give us that nice little bubble effect, kinda of like puffy paint. I didn't have puffy paint, I had glue, so this worked. Okay, so here it is all done. And all you need to do now is just remove your template from the back. And it looks all nice. So just go ahead and let that dry. Once that is dry, you'll be able to notice that on one side you can feel the, the glue, on the other side it's nice and smooth. On that smooth side, you're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of matte Mod Podge and you're gonna add a very, very thin layer of matte Mod Podge all over the back of your image. The reason we're doing this is because we want our markers to stick onto something. Marker won't paint onto plastic, but this way it'll paint. This is how it looks when it's wet, and once it's dry, it's completely clear. You can't notice really that it's there. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is grab our markers. You can use any type of marker and start painting our image. I started painting the tail first. I think for me it was the easiest way to figure it out. Um, so the tail is yellow and she has a little bit of orange on her tail. Once I finished painting that, I went ahead and started coloring in the mermaid herself. I'm dyslexic, so sometimes looking at lines kind of hurts my eyes. Um, so it takes me like some time to figure things out. You guys actually have the image on screen, but I didn't have it at the time. I had to go back and forth. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rock. I think when you paint the mermaid and the rock first, everything else becomes clearer. Next thing we wanna focus on is the water. So the water has two different shades of blue. It has like a light blue and a dark navy blue. And it does also have white spots. Those represent like the foam or some rocks, if you will. So go ahead and paint as much as you want to. I love that this is open to interpretation and you can paint it however you want it to look, really. So add your blues, make sure to leave a little bit of white in there for the foam of the water, the reflection of the water. And once you're finished with that, we're gonna go ahead and focus on the top part. So it does have a little bit of green. This is where the hill of, Harry, of Hogwarts is, sorry. Go ahead and add some brown for your rocks. Paint in the castle. I painted a little bit of yellow and then the very top just add a little bit of blue for your sky. Okay, so now that is all finished. 
next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and cut our image out you want to leave like a little bit of a border because we are going to be sticking a frame onto this or making a frame now you can always um, recolor your image to make it a little bit more saturated if you wanted to so i'm going to grab a little piece of foam, foam board and i'm going to add my image on the top i'm going to use it as a guide to see how long my strips need to be because i am going to make like a fake frame for my window so here i am just going and making my line using my exacto knife to cut i think foam board is so much easier to cut with an exacto knife than it is with scissors especially if it's like a long piece so cut that out and you're gonna make two actually you're gonna make one strip I kind of eyeballed how thick I wanted it to be and what I did is that strip I cut it in half that way the strip is the same length on both sides but it's not as thick because we don't want this frame to be super thick we just want it to be framed just enough and this is the idea that I'm going for. Okay, so we're gonna grab our washi tape. You can get washi tape at the Dollar Tree, you can get washi tape at Michael's, Hobby Lobby. All you want is a wood textured washi tape. And the easiest way to do this was, go ahead and get a strip of washi tape, add your foam board onto the washi tape, and with your X-Acto knife, you're gonna cut off some excess. Now when you cut off that excess and you still notice that there is like white shining, like peeking through from the foam board, you can always just use the X-Acto knife and cut that out too. So do that to both of your pieces and those are going to go right there. Then you want to go ahead and grab a little bit more of foam board and measure out the bottom pieces of the frame. Same thing, you're going to cut it in half and same thing again, we're going to put those onto a piece of washi tape and cut those out. Okay, once your pieces are ready to go, you're going to go ahead and get a little bit of hot glue and stick them onto your, your frame. I think you should leave a little bit more of plastic border on your frame. I think mine was a little bit too thin because my glue was getting onto my mat. Thankfully, I have a mat that is heat protective. Anyway, glue down both sides first. Then you're going to go ahead and glue the smaller pieces in between. And just adjust them if you need to cut cut okay so here it is now this is the back of my frame I did add a little bit of more color just to make it more saturated and then I'm just gonna cut a piece of twine and add my twine to the back of my picture frame and this is my stained glass mermaid themed ornament from a goblet of fire i really love this one and i hope you did too i want you to let me know what do you want me to do next after i finish my 12 day series so thanks for everything you guys i'll see you in the next one bye